Let's see, as a football referee, what I would do in comparison to the rugby referees when they get back chat from players. Meantime, there's a game still going on. Oh, we've seen this clip. Myler, that's a penalty as well. So, we've looked at this in previous episodes a long time ago, uh, and Hartley apparently said to Wayne Barnes uh, that he's a fucking cheat. Now, if if in this episode we're looking at what I would do as a football referee differently or the similar to the rugby referees, Wayne Barnes gets it spot on. You do not say to the referee that he is a cheat. You don't say anything similar to he is a cheat. Something like, oh, you should be wearing the other team's kit or something like that. Because it takes the referee's integrity and puts it into question. And as a referee, you don't care who wins. You know, when I turn up on a match day, I couldn't care less who wins. I go home, I get paid. If one team wins, so? I really don't care. Even if I know people in that team, I do not care. So you do not call the referee a cheat. We are honest. We do. Um, we referee because we love the game. Uh, we're not there to con anyone. It's a spot on decision from Wayne Barnes. A, a real top referee. He really is. He leaves the field. Well, he had just he spoken to Dylan Hartley, haven't he? About how he spoke and then they plead Hartley. their innocence. They pretend they didn't do it. I think he's wrapped. Playing on to it. He's wrapped two arms. He's fucking serious. Man number three over here, please, with the captain. It's, uh, Luca. Is it Just stay where you are, please. Ouch. If you scream at me like that again, you will leave the field. The language you used was unacceptable. We have a process in, in process, and our team looked at it, and now we're going to check it. Please do not scream. Okay. So what I think the referee's using here is a stepped approach, and and that's similar in football. Uh, I know in rugby, a lot of a lot of players and fans think, well, why don't referees in football crack down? I completely understand, completely understand. It's sort of out of our control, but um, it, it, that seems a bit of a stepped approach. He, the way he, the way, the way Kyle Sinclair swore there, it was the frustration. It wasn't aimed at really anyone. It was the frustration. And we get that in football, you know, players miss or they're, or they're angry at the teammates. They, they say swear words in frustration. So you understand it's not aimed at anyone. So by using a stepped approach, it's basically saying, look, that's not acceptable. Don't do it. You know, and hopefully they won't do it again. Not always the case. Um, so I think that would be very much the same in rugby and football. You would give them a warning. I think that's perfectly fine. Your referee or no, your scrum I don't tell you how, how to play. Don't tell me how to referee. Okay? <laughs> so classic line. Absolute classic. You don't tell me how to referee and I won't tell you how to play. But this is the problem. Uh, especially in football. It's They're always telling, telling me how bad I am or other referees how bad they are. But imagine if us referees went to a player and said, you're not playing very well today, are you? Oh, oh there'll be hell to pay. You would be basically doing exactly the same as what they've done, but it's only acceptable one way. Funny that. Billy, Billy, can you go back on the halfway line, please? Can you well, go it's back not on been a rivalry for long, you, only since October 2010, but my goodness, Last they chance. have been busy packing He's not moving. Since then. 10 yards. Well, both people on the ball is about to be sent off here, they're not doing what it's it's Teammates time. come over. Mid the red contact there, clear foul play, head on head, it's a red card. Well, it's not very touchy, is it? Valentine, now it's Hoyles, and Hoyles not held, or he was, according to the referee. Gee, there was some uh, good timing there by the Brumbies. Oh, he's given Steve Watson Ten yards. Well, he doesn't like that, even from the captain. But this goes, this goes back to my previous point. That player has just said, you've done a rubbish call, and we get that in football. And sometimes it is a rubbish call. We get that. You know, we are humans. We don't have... 
you know, eyes looking looking all over the place, like in in, in football with all the cameras and whatnot. And we don't all have assistant ref- a proper assistant referees. We can't necessarily get every decision hundred percent spot on. We do our best to get hundred percent spot on. Um, but this comes back to the fact that he that player is allowed to say to the referee that was a rubbish call. But imagine if the referee said, "Well, you, you've done rubbish. That was a rubbish pass. That was a rubbish shot." You know, it's it's why is it acceptable? Now I understand as a referee, you're meant to be upholding the laws um, and you are meant to be setting the example. But it oh, I, there's plenty of times I will give a sarcastic remark back because it's. Uh, Ah, it's frustrating. Good work. What? Good work. What's up today? No, not now. What's the rule? Hey, what was that penalty for? Tackle. Where you go? Late, late tackle against oh. twelve. In case we're going back to the penalty. So that was. Mate, that's sweaters. Oh, we're not allowed to tackle the car. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> yes, I did. Yes. <laughs> that's genius. That's oh, a whore. You didn't pick it up out there, everybody. He said you're not allowed to tackle Dan Carter in this game. <laughs> There's Billy. Just um. He goes again, I think, doesn't he? He keeps talking. This was the other week. Yeah, he keeps going. Let's go again. Has he finished? No, he hasn't. Here's another 10 metres for you, Bill. Well, I love, I love this. I love that in rugby... Now, obviously, in rugby, territory is more important. In football, it's less important because, you know, teams will happily play it back to the fence and start again, play to the other wing. But I love... And I actually was watching this... Um, and he just it kept walking forward because the guy just would not stop. Um, I We don't have this sort of power in football. I don't know how effective it would be, um, but I really like it. And I would like to give it a try because I suppose um, if you're on the halfway line for a free kick and you were then 10 yards closer, maybe it's more effective. I, I, I don't know. Um, or for example, if it's just outside the penalty area, they give you keep gobbing off and then you end up going 10 yards forwards and it's a penalty. That is a that is a big one. Um, what's interesting though, I think in this, is that the rest of the players, they're almost just ignoring it. They're, they're just walking on. Um, there's no sort of reaction to the 10 yard, the 10 yard push. We have the same thing in football. The amount of times players ask to, to, to basically for the referee to show the opposing player a, a card, a yellow card or whatnot, a red card. Um, and technically that is unsporting behaviour and is worthy of a yellow card yourself I think exactly the same in this case you would very 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 rarely would you give a yellow card um, you would you would normally go up to the player and say you, you want another yellow you want a yellow card to be dished out for another player you'll get one as well you, you, it, like, it's, it's that managing the game whether it's right or wrong it's managing the game and uh, and actually, Wayne Barnes did exactly the same as what I think a football referee would do. I don't think we've met before, but I'm the referee on this field, not you. Stick to your job and I will do mine. If I hear you shouting for anything again, I'm going to be penalising you. This is not soccer. Is that clear? Bucky, go and get on with the game. Real problem. That was beautiful stuff from the French backs. We should listen to this. Be very careful what you're saying. Do you understand? He spoke out of turn, you know what he said. Go on again, please. I'll tell you later, but don't think he's saying. What did he say? And he swore. So, unfortunately, this my gentleman can't scream at me by holding and holding and holding. It's not your right to scream to me. What am I going to do? You're going to play the game, I'll referee the game, unfortunately. Game with a penalty now for you against that now. Okay. Get the message over to the guards now, please. I think that one's interesting. Um, and I don't think you'd do it in football. I'm trying to... Let's try it. Look, as you can see there, the referee is actually touching the player. And I don't think that's acceptable, personally. I don't think... Now, I know it's it's a, 
It's trying to keep it's keeping the situation calm. But I don't think you should be touching a player. You don't expect them to touch you and get too close to you, so you don't do it back. I don't think that's great. I completely what he's saying is spot on. Don't go screaming at me telling me what to do. You know, I'm paid to do this job. Let me get on with it. Uh, you're paid to do yours. You get on with yours. But I don't like that touching. I don't know. Let me know what you think. You again, Seth, now. Okay. Get the message over to the guards now, please. Oh, carries first half, tackles second half for the call number five. Come here. My turn to speak. You speak to me like that again, and it won't be a scrum, it'll be a penalty. I'm all for chat at the right times and in the right tone. Do you understand me? Have the respect to look at me when I'm talking to you, please. Do you understand me? Thank you very much. You know I'm quite meanable. Speak to me tidy and I will listen all day. Sorry, sir. Thank you. What were you saying? Sorry. He slapped the ball. No. You won it fair and square. Passed it back to your player and he's knocked on. Brilliant. Brilliant. And, and actually, it's fair play to the player as well for standing there and listening. When, when the referee says, have the respect to look at me when I'm talking to you. Whoa, imagine if I said that to a player in football. <sighs> You would get so much grief. Uh, just as an example, yesterday I, uh, I refereed um, and there was a player that was swearing a lot. His, he, he was having a go at his teammates, I don't know, whatever it was. And he was swear, swear, swear. Every other word was the F word. And uh, his, the captain was brilliant. The captain for his team was fantastic. Trying to calm him down because he was a little bit of a hothead. In the next kind of sort of little phase of play, I went up to him and I just said, look, you know, there's kids around, please. You know, you can be frustrated. I know it's frustration, but just don't swear. <sighs> the response was something along the lines of, don't tell me what to do. Um, I don't need your help and all this nonsense. And I think, really? I am there trying to support you to not get you, to stop you getting into trouble. And, you know, so the difference, the difference here is, this guy's listened and, 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 and behaved well when the referee has demanded the respect, really good to see. But what's good as well is the referee has allowed the player afterwards to explain politely and calmly what his problem is. And the referee then says, well, this is why I did whatever. I think that's brilliant. I quite like Ben Whitehouse, you know, I'm warming to him. And Roman Fott is going to check with the television match view, officials. Ladies and gentlemen. Walking, you just you leave, you leave, camera by blade. No, you don't talk to me. I don't talk to you. Who was over the line? We'll see exactly where it is. Okay, on the top. Uh, two, two, two. Come, come in here. It's gone against uh, Bongi and Manabi. You never say that to me again. Never. Never, never say, say that to me again. I think that's quite a good impression. Ten metres. No. This occasion, it's Gloucester that affect the turnover out wide. Farrell protesting, saying he couldn't play the ball. And March back ten for that. Referees having none of that. Saracens just simply didn't get numbers there. Gloucester was secure over the ball. No, he wasn't. He's fine. No, he he moved. Uh, Christopher, thank you. <laughs> it's like it's like your mum or your dad, uh, your dad, when you, when you're talking too much, and they say your full name. Okay, I got I got this is a penalty. When a player runs up and shout that's gotta be a card. Sorry, Okay, just ask him to come out It's a penalty. <laughs> There's another example of what we were saying earlier, what I've said earlier, and and it's Wayne Barnes again, a player telling the referee to card the opposing player, but actually all you end up doing is saying it's not acceptable. You don't do that. If you do that again, you'll get the card. Um, that's I, I'm amazed it's not more strict in rugby actually. 
I'm amazed. Obviously, in football, football's known for not necessarily being able to uh, to card as much, uh, and, and I've been through that in several videos. But in in rugby, I was thinking actually maybe they would crack down on that unsporting behaviour. Hey, hey, hey. Still still screaming. Hey, scream like that. Sorry. Sorry. Kyle, what are you screaming you for? When you were taken over for part in this game, is that clear? The scrum was stationary squared, you delayed putting it in, that's why it's moved. That is the end of the conversation. Go back again, I don't want to hear anything more. Off you go. First of all, right. Tom looks like he might put this into Second the corner. Ball from Brady's over the ball. And lastly, most importantly, if you scream at me in a rugby pitch, I'll send you off. Thank you. Straight to the point. Connor, it's fantastic. I'm just looking at the crowd in front of me, and they're all waving their fists. Get stuck into each other, get stuck into each other. Okay, I'll tell you what the issue here is, lads, right? It is clear foul play, you've caught him right. There's no denying that. My problem is, it's the third one, so he has to go to the bin. Okay? Off he goes. No, we did not see that. Off he goes. Right, Sex Sexton's not stopping. We've had three foul pen. Three, listen, listen to me. We've had three. That is two pursuits. What you're saying? So back you go. Here we go. Back you go. He's not stopping. Luke Pearce. Oh no, it's a penalty advantage to South Africa. Collapse. Collapsing the mall. Excuse me. Hang on. Hold on. I don't need you running miles away saying that's a yellow, okay? Because if you do that, you might end up with him if I were Another to... example. Another example where the ref, you know, exactly the same as football. It is unsporting behaviour, but the referee simply gives a word uh, of a, a threatening that if you do it again. Um, but on the side of the referees, same as what we do, do they then go and ask for another yellow card for a player? I've never had it where... If you warn a player, they, they do it again. So that's maybe it does work. Wow, that was a quick, quick red there. After there we go, Dan Bigger complains. The try is given. Here's that language you got on the pitch. I'll send you off. Straight to the point. Under the door, onto the shoulders of all the staff. Same player, the guy that kicked the ball, caught the ball. It's all good. Let's go. They should go. It would have slid under the door. Wow. There you go. What do you think? Um, what do you think of the things I said that maybe we do the same? Uh, quite often I look at these referee videos and there's a lot that the referees in rugby do differently. Uh, but in this one, there was quite a few that we do similar. I'm surprised by that. I am surprised by that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if there's any other rugby content you want me to look at and explain or compare with me being a football referee, then please do let me know. Join the Discord server. Uh, there's a suggestions page in there and plenty of chat from rugby to Aussie rules to cricket at the moment. Um, so get involved. Also, if you want to know more about my life, uh, make sure you subscribe to our vlog channel with me and Charlie. Dis link in the description below and I will catch you next time.